You don't have to travel far in the occupied West Bank to find stories of Palestinians affected by Jewish Israeli settlements. Naima Charbonnet lives in a village surrounded by them, and her family lost their land to an illegal outpost and have suffered for decades. We were hoping that settlers would leave the outpost, but once Israel legalizes it, there would be no hope for us to get the land back whatsoever. The settlements are illegal under international law, but despite that, some 600,000 Jewish settlers live in the occupied West Bank in Jerusalem. Some of them live on land privately owned by Palestinians. Israel wants to confiscate that land and is trying to pass a bill into law legalizing such settlements and outposts. They say the Palestinian landowners will be compensated. However, the land was snatched from them and negotiations over the land never took place. Palestinian officials say they have no choice but to take their case to the international community. Going to the ICC and to the Security Council and to the, 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 the Council of uh, uh, high contracting parties, the uh, agreements of, of Geneva, particularly the fourth uh, convention on, 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 human, on the right of people under occupation, had to be done, all of them. This is Beit El Settlement, one of the places discussed in the bill. Whether they'll have any success at the International Criminal Court to try and stop further Israeli land grabs of occupied Palestinian territory is debatable. There have been several UN Security Council resolutions that Israel has ignored, and the most recent one was passed in December. There are still legal moves those opposed to the bill can make. The Israeli Supreme Court may consider the bill unconstitutional. The government's top lawyer, the Attorney General, has already said he cannot defend the bill if passed into law. What's clear is that this issue has divided Israeli politicians, angered Palestinian leaders, and drawn international condemnation. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, the Occupied West Bank.